Hello, welcome to my AnyRail tutorial series. Today I will demonstrate how to use layers to organize the objects on your layout. Layers are best used to separate your track and scenery. Click on one of the following links to view either a quick start guide to the AnyRail software or to view other tutorials in this series. I'm starting with a previously created layout to save time. By default, when you create a new layout, a layer is created named Layer 1. All objects will be placed onto this layer. To open the Layers pane, click on the Home tab, if not already there, and click the Layers button. To create a layer and rename it to Scenery, click Add Layer, double click the new layer, highlight the existing text, and type scenery. And then press enter. I can now add scenery items separate to the track layer. To hide a layer, select an unhidden layer, then uncheck the Layers associated box in the first column. If you click on a hidden layer, it will automatically unhide. You can sort layers by clicking on the pane headings. For example, to sort the layers alphabetically in descending order, click the layer name heading until the arrow points downwards. To move a single object or multiple objects to another layer, select the object or objects to be moved and from the ribbon choose the destination layer. You can use the padlock box to lock a layer and prevent objects on that layer from being moved. A locked layer will automatically unlock when it's selected. When a stretch of track is selected, if any part of the track is in a locked layer, all other track sections become immobilized as shown. Please note that in the unregistered version of AnyRail, you are still only able to add a maximum of 50 objects to your layout, regardless of the number of layers you have. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you have found this tutorial helpful.